I never regret buying cars. I regret selling cars or the cars that I didn't buy. My name is Brian Hurt. I've always had an interest in cars. Grew up in the northwest corner of Nebraska. My dad owned a body shop, and that's how I think I got my interest in cars from the very beginning. As I came out to Ohio and I became more and more passionate about Hondas, it really transitioned into what's gonna be the next generation of cars. The thing that influenced me the most was just going to Japan. They were just incredible cars over there. And you could see Integra Type R's and NSX's. I remember the first time I saw an NSX, it was down in the crash barrier and they were getting ready to crash this car. It was the first time I ever seen it. I'm like, I have to have one of these. It was the most beautiful car I'd ever seen in my entire life. And so that was such a goal of mine to get that first NSX. Made a little money on the car, and then that really gave me the ability to expand my collection. My favorite car is the 03 NSX I have. The thing that I love about the NSX is the fact that it was styled and developed in the late 80s. And you look at the car today, and it still looks unbelievable. It's naturally aspirated, manual transmission, you get this crazy visceral feeling and sound. It feels so connected to it. It's just very raw. When they were doing the styling in the car, it was based on a fighter jet. You kind of feel that way. You feel like you're a fighter pilot because you've got this incredible visibility and then you've just got this connection with the car. Of all the cars that I own, that's my favorite to drive. Right now I have the four Integra Type Rs. I have a 97, which was the first year. I have a 98 and then I have two 2000s and there were just a handful of the Type Rs that were actually produced. And so there aren't many of these left in existence that actually haven't been modified and are low mile and in pristine condition. I try to find stuff with some meaning behind it. The Honda Cub came up on Bring a Trailer and I'd never seen a Honda Cub for sale in the United States. That product was only sold in Japan. I bought it sight unseen I don't think there's a lot of people that even know that's how Mr. Honda got started. He bought surplus engines from the military and canteens from the military and then basically packaged that and then the customer actually put that on their pre-existing bicycle. They were selling motors at that time for bicycles and they were mounting them basically on the front wheel. And Mr. Honda, you know, when his wife was driving that Honda Cub, you know, you'd get oil on yourself, right? And so what he did, he took that motor and he put it on the back wheel so the, the exhaust was out of the way so it wouldn't get on his wife. If you think about what engineers do, we find a problem and then we solve the problem. And that's what Mr. Honda did with that. But I think it's so important that we remember how our company got started. I'm very proud to have it. And I also feel maybe a responsibility to preserve it and to promote it and show it to people who've never been able to see one before. So the joy I have in my car collection maybe goes back to the three joys of Mr. Honda. Joy for me is the joy of owning. I like working on them. I love inviting people over to experience what it's like to take an Integra Type R up to Redline. It's this incredible feeling when it switches over in VTEC mode. And that's something that a lot of people have never been able to experience. That's a big part of having a collection like that, is just being able to share it with people. It reminds me of collecting Matchbox cars when I was a little kid, and it gives you that same kind of feeling. And I think that's why I have these vehicles. I figured they were going to be a really good investment in the future, and I got lucky, and I, I think it was the right thing to do. I've been with this company for 27 years, and I plan on retiring from this company. I'm a Honda guy.